Welcome to our lecture online. If we're given three points on the plane, how do we find the equation of the plane? Well, we know that we can find the equation if we have the vector perpendicular to the plane and one point on the plane. So since they gave us three points, we already have one point on the plane, but now we need to determine how to find that perpendicular vector. Now let's take a look here. Here's a plane. We have three points on the plane, so we could essentially find two vectors one that goes from point 1 to point 2, and one that goes from point 1 to point 3. Since both of those two vectors, let's call it P1 to P2 vector and P1 to P3 vector, since those are on the plane, they must be parallel to one another. And, of course, they're on the plane. But now, if we take the cross product of those two vectors, we'll end up with a vector that's perpendicular to those two vectors, which means that's a vector that's perpendicular to the plane. And so here you can see that if we take the vector P1, P2, and take the cross product with vector p1, p3, we'll get the perpendicular vector to the plane, then we take one of the three points, and then we can get the equation of the plane. So that's the strategy. So let's first find vector p1 to p2. So vector p1 to p2 is going to be equal to the component in p2 minus the component p1 in the i direction. So that gives us 2 minus 1 in the i direction, plus 3 minus 2 in the j direction, and then plus 1 minus a minus 1 in the k direction. So that means that this vector p1 to p2 is going to be equal to 1 in the i direction, plus 1 in the j direction, and plus 2 in the k direction. So there's our first vector on the plane. Now let's find the second vector on the plane. So we get p1 to p3. And that's going to be equal to 3 minus 1 in the i direction plus a negative 1 minus 2 in the j direction and plus a 2 minus a minus 1 in the k direction. Simplifying that, we get our second vector from p1 to p3. That's going to be equal to 2 in the i direction minus 3 in the j direction and 2 plus 1, that would be plus 3 in the k direction. So there's our second vector. Both of those vectors are on the plane. Now to get the perpendicular vector, we're going to take the cross product. So that means that the perpendicular vector is going to be equal to the cross product of p1, p2, and p1, p3. So that's going to be equal to i, j, k, Putting in the components to the first vector, 1, 1, 2, and the second vector, 2, negative 3, and 3. Make this a little shorter. All right, so that is going to be equal to i times 1 times 3 minus 2 times the negative 3, that would be plus 6 minus j. We get 1 times 3 minus 2 times 2 plus k times 1 times negative 3, which is a negative 3, minus 1 times 2, which is minus 2. Simplifying that, we could then see that our perpendicular vector is going to be equal to 9 in the i direction. That would be a minus 1 times minus, that would be plus 1 in the j direction. And a minus 3 minus 2, that's a minus 5 in the k direction. So here we have our perpendicular vector, and we have three points. So let's pick one of our points, this one right here, now we're ready to find the equation of the plane. Hmm, one point and the perpendicular vector. The best way to do it is to take the point normal, as they call it, the point normal form of the equation, which means that we have a times x minus x sub naught plus b times y minus y sub naught plus c times z minus z sub naught is equal to zero. So that's the point normal form of the equation. Let's plug everything in. A, B, and C are right here, 9, 1, and negative 5. And then X sub naught, Y sub naught, and Z sub naught are the coordinates of one of our three points. Let's pick that one. And so, okay, we have A, which is 9, times X minus 1, plus B, which is 1, times Y, minus Y sub naught, uh, Y sub naught, that would be minus 2, and C, that's a minus 5 times z minus z sub naught, that would be z minus a minus 1, which is plus 1, and that equals 0. 
So this would be what we call the point normal form of the equation. But turning it into the general form, we do it as follows. We get 9x minus 9 plus y minus 2 minus 5z minus 5 equals 0. So we get 9x plus y minus 5z. And we have a minus 9, minus 2 is minus 11, minus 5 is minus 16 equals 0. And that would be the general form of the equation of that plane. And that is how we find the equation of the plane given three points. Is that correct? Sure looks like it.